So guys, welcome to honest reviews of Himal Electronicals. Today we are going to see Apple Intelligence on Mac Mini M1, Mac OS 15. As you can see, there are multiple products supported right from iPhone 15 and above. Similarly, any M1 or M2 chipset, Macintosh or iPad Pro, iPad Air, all are supported guys. So Apple Intelligence is a preview of the intelligent uh, model, especially uh, recently it has been launched. So Apple Intelligence provides multiple supports which replaces Siri with more intelligence. So as you can see this full video, I'll explain you how to install an Apple Intelligence almost similar to ChatGPT on an Apple device. So here we have booted up Mac Mini M1 running on Sonomo as you can see here. So now we are going to install the developer beta 15.1 that is the one that we need support Apple intelligence so i'm going to enable all these settings security settings ios updates beta updates and then we'll select the beta channel 15.1 developer beta so when i click on the beta updates i get the drop down menu i will select you know 15.1 developer beta and then we would be able to install the beautiful mac os 15.1 along with apple intelligence so it will take a long time maybe 30 20 30 minutes depending on the internet speed and also it reboots the computer once or twice for installing as you can see here it gives you a brief intro of 15.1 mac os which also includes apple intelligence please ensure you need to change your language region to united states us so that the apple intelligence join waitlist button will be highlighted because in preview model these features are not available for everyone you need to change the region then you need to uh, enable Apple Intelligence. It gives you more notes over here along with release details as you can see 15.1 Guys, it's amazing isn't it? Just amazing Clicking on install now and then we'll enter the current uh, password and now it will go into download this whole package roughly 6 GB I think mostly it will take a while so while the download is happening you can see the progress it depends on internet speed once the download is completed it will going to reboot your system once or twice and then i'll guide you how to set up this mac os 15.1 along with uh, you know apple intelligence features so at present not all features are enabled mostly features are available for notes application and pages application along with siri uh, the updated siri right now it's rebooting it's going to take a while so once the reboot is done we will uh, continue the setup of uh, the mac os 15.1 i'll explain you so it's going to reboot now again so we'll log in to the password we'll enter the password we'll log into the mac os 15.1 so typical user wizard analytics we click on continue and then we give the other details so as you can see here we click on continue then screen time we click on continue and followed by file disk disk encryption file vault we'll enable it later we'll click on continue dark mode i like dark mode and welcome to mac right so the installation is completed guys so right now uh, it will give feedback resistant obviously it's a developer beta 15.1 all features are not available for everyone you need to enable so we are going to see okay as you can see mac os 15.1 it clearly shows over here 15.1 beta and now we are going to change the language region and all those details guys let me show you so here we are validating the version once again and uh, right now we are going to siri as you can see it says apple intelligence not available in your country or region so there is a fix for it you need to change the region to united states and also siri voice also i will change it to united states okay english united states and then you will get a option waitlist let me show you all those options so i'm just changing the siri voice just for my convenience and then now i go to general and then we'll go to language and region so these are mandatory so now we'll click on general then we'll go to language and region here we will select united states us because these features are only available in US. The Apple intelligence, intelligence is only available in the United States. Instead, US. It'll ask to confirm. Yes. 
we need to restart guys you can restart later but unless you restart uh, the participation will not happen to it, apple intelligence so mainly apple intelligence features are amazing guys i really like it it's a new early bird release i understand but uh, there are so many features available and siri gets supercharged the main features will continue evolving as uh, the builds are continued and uh, the mainly apple intelligence uh, beta testing on mac os secure with apple intelligence i can ask siri to text a message to my partner and it does it fixing any errors it encounters along the way it also auto corrects your sentences uh, since it's a beta version is not very smooth or response sometimes you might see some crashes but nevertheless uh, even it uh, supports uh, you are redrafting of you know writing tools especially where you can correct uh, you can summarize rewrite text into multiple modes professional concise friendly casual so on okay so now region has been changed uh, let's uh, go to settings one more time let's rewrite it okay now it says preparing because the region is changed apple intelligence supports united states language and region so it's going to take some time guys so let's wait until it comes join wait list in the meanwhile we'll download the siri uh, you know files for the voice number 4 not mandatory just for my convenience i'm changing so let's wait for few minutes Okay guys finally we got the join waitlist option we need to click on the join waitlist as you can see here back in dos 15.1 we'll click on join waitlist moment you click it explains you the features that are available and coming soon on this build so i click on next then it is now in the waitlist you will be notified when the waitlist is done when you are ready to enable it two three times we will toggle so that uh, sometimes it updates immediately sometimes it take 20 30 minutes to update so let's wait for some time guys okay. so again i'm toggling it says uh, join wait list pending so now the pop up has come apple intelligence is here okay go ahead and enable it so let's enable it guys turn on we'll set up the apple intelligence okay so it's going to give you a wizard which explains you different features available as you can see text features and health in siri lot of features are available you click on next it explains your siri siri is also ready and now you have enabled the apple intelligence as you can see the turn on option is on now so you have enabled the apple intelligence now you will see lot of features guys let me explain you one by one so i can put up a special hotkey to start siri i can type to siri i can talk to siri if i have a headphones and i'm just asking what is the weather in hyderabad it gives it instantly as a pop up siri color is also changed animation is changed earlier it used to be a circle now it's a it's a dialog box where you can type as well talk to siri type to siri both options are available and then we can ask multiple things you can ask you can ask uh, current olympic score and also you can ask as you can see right now i asked for olympic score it's giving me all details and when i click on more details it will give you more details as well very user friendly little bit response is slow since it's a beta version but uh, at least 
we are able to see enhanced uh, features of Siri. I would say Apple intelligence, right? So now we are going to uh, redraft this letter, sample acquisition letter for an employee for good work. So when I go to writing tools, this intelligence is incorporated into multiple tools like pages, notes, presentations, and as well as pages, notes as well, where you can rephrase as you can see summary list table concise i can make it professional make it casual make it friendly make it business letters so you can use this app intelligence to convert your letters your documents into a better mode like a professional mode or you can revert the changes or you can also change the settings to concise to give a summary bullet points so a lot of editing tools are available here so right now these are notes right when you go to writing tools we have the show writing tools option you will get that option proofreading you can do as you can see animation when apple intelligence is searching and it changes instantly depending on what setting you are chosen if you are summarizing the letter or if you are making it casual if you are making it simple professional friendly so many tones the letter tone also can be changed it can be business formal it can be a friendly letter a lot of good things are coming up professional now again it is analyzing the whole letter and it rephrases the sentences as you can see the punctuation marks also comes up automatically amazing guys just amazing isn't it so again i'm going to writing tools and i can go to different options right i can do a concise i can do a summary so as you can see now it is a summarize the whole topic a lot of good features i really like apple intelligence as it evolves so let's wait for future builds so that more incorporation can happen like image creation emoji creation right and also dynamic image depending on the mood so lot many features are coming up guys so let's wait so here key points key points are nothing but in a minutes of meeting kind of minutes of meeting it can change the whole thing to minutes of meeting guys just amazing isn't it one of the beautiful features of uh, amazing app intelligence guys I really like this. So guys, you can also change the Apple Intelligence uh, hotkey. I can say select to space bar or any other key combination so that I can instantly start Siri when I click that button. It also supports Hey Siri, Listen, only Siri also depending on the configuration. So let's uh, check the settings in Pages. I'm going to launch the Pages app. Pages is nothing but uh, a word document kind of application, a native Apple application. So we'll open a new document and we'll see how we can change the letter dynamically. Okay, so I'm going to type a, a small sentence here. I would like to take a sick leave as per my doctor's advice. So we are going to rephrase this sentence in multiple ways, both as a friendly way, as a professional way, as a business correspondence. So I go to show writing tools, you will get this option, right? Friendly, professional, casual. Friendly is if you are sending a letter to your friend or your known acquaintances, that is friendly. Professional is business correspondence and casual is a lighter tone. Whole letter will be lighter tone. As you can see, it dynamically changes guys. Really, I, it's amazing. And by the way, no data is being uploaded to Apple. This happens on the device, the NLP, National Language Processing, because it uses your neural chipsets of your Mac M1, right? So directly it happens on device. There's nothing need to be uploaded and re-downloaded. I really like this option. So once again, thank you for watching Himalayan Chronicles. Let's try to rephrase this sentence. Amazing guys, really. So currently these two things we were able to check proofreading and also the updated Siri. So we will check this build for future versions also. I will be sending one more video to understand any additional enhancements that comes up to Apple intelligence. Thanks for watching guys. As you can see the letter is dynamically changing as per professional, casual and business correspondence. So bye bye. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.